Hey, what is up everyone? My name is David Stone and welcome to today's video. So I wanted to say that if you haven't subscribed yet, you should definitely do that now because in the next coming weeks, I'm going to make a full blown Facebook and Instagram ads course, which will be completely free and laid out here on YouTube. The information I'm going to show in my videos is something that a lot of people are currently paying for, but I do not want you to pay for anything. So I'm going to put it out here on YouTube completely free. And let's just hope that you help me grow a bigger community because that is really what I want a transparent and great community without further ado let's jump right into the content and how you can start your journey in Facebook ads and Instagram ads now this video is going to be a little bit different than other videos so I'm basically going to tell you how you can set up your ads manager in the beginning and how we do that but I also want to go through something that is very necessary before you even start making your ads. So we're not going to make any ads in this video. Sadly, you need to understand something before you even get started with Facebook ads. And that is why a lot of people are not really profitable because they listen to all of the gurus saying just optimize for purchase and you'll be fine. Just start your five ads, go broad, target worldwide and you'll be fine. That is not how you do it. And it's really just bullshit and fluff. I don't like it a bit so I'm gonna show you exactly how you can become profitable with your Facebook ads but before that we need to go through the basics and how you can set up your ads manager and I'm gonna show you four tiers on where you might be in your ads experience right now so anyway let's set up our ads manager first so first point here is installing your Facebook pixel very important and you should probably start doing that before you even get into Facebook ads you want to go into your ads manager right now if you don't know how to open up an ads manager account you can just google that it will take you to Facebook business and you can open your business account right there so you want to open uh, your ads manager go into all tools and go into pixels you want to click the big green button set up pixel use an integration or tag manager and use Shopify then you want to scroll down and go to continue and scroll down again and here is your Facebook pixel ID so you want to copy and paste that go into your store online store preferences and then go to scroll down to Facebook pixel and paste your Facebook pixel ID. Once you save that, it is fully integrated and you can send a test event to Facebook, but it's not really going to register immediately. So it won't really show that it's valid. So just click continue and it will be confirmed in a couple of minutes or so. Don't stress it if it's not confirmed immediately, it will still work once set up. All right, so the next part is column setup and what you should really be having. So what is a column? Column is basically something that shows you your data on your ad sets and campaigns. So what you see up here is basically your columns and this is how I like to set up my columns but really you should really also be following this because Facebook does not really give you the most optimized way of looking at your columns and you need to be setting up that in a proper manner because Facebook just shows you really dull data and you won't really see how your funnel is doing if you don't have it set up like this you can also mo edit and modify this to your liking but this is what I really recommend you having so how you set up your column is you go into columns here and go to customize columns and this is how I have my columns set up so if you want to copy my settings you can do that by just pausing the video and I'll be scrolling through this pretty slowly so you can get an understanding of what I'm actually showing you So now that you've seen that and you paused the video, you want to go and set that up right now immediately before you even start getting your ads up and running. All right. So next part is create a Facebook page and Instagram page. So you really need to be doing this. You need to create your Facebook page and Instagram page before you even start setting up your store. You can take a look at my Instagram influencer videos so you can get a pretty good understanding of what your Instagram page should be looking like and how you can set that up. I also go through how you can use a free method to start earning your first dollars on Shopify very easy method to do and it's completely free as well so if you don't have any money to work with that is where I recommend you to start out that is basically my first video you want to create your Facebook page and Instagram page before you start anything else very important to do now I also wrote where to create your posts so a dark post versus a page post so a page post is where you post on your page very obvious and that is basically where it's public and a dark post is a post which you create in your ads manager so if you come up to your ads manager all tools and you can see page post this is basically where a dark post is created so it's not really featured on your your page or anything 
and that is not what you want to do. So never create dark posts, just create them on your page, upload the variation to your official page. If you do not understand what I'm saying, just stay with me because you will be understanding all of this once we jump into the next video. You need to remember that this is part one and this is just the basic understanding of what you should be knowing before you get into Facebook ads. And I also wrote here, understand difference between Instagram ads and Facebook ads. So something that a lot of people are showing you is, which is completely wrong, is that you should just create a post and set that up on Instagram and Facebook. No, 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 that is so wrong. You need to create two variations, one for Instagram and one for Facebook. Do you know why? Because Instagram does not allow you to include links in the description. If you create an ad with a link in the description on Instagram, it won't be clickable. It's completely useless and makes your Instagram ad look shit. So create two variations always when you're starting to test out. So you create one variation for Facebook and one variation for Instagram, one without a link and one with a link. You'll be knowing how to create page posts and Instagram ads in the next coming videos. This video, as I said before, is just to show you the basic understanding of the four different tiers that you need to know about before you jump into Facebook ads. But keep that in mind, and that is something that a lot of mentors never really tell you on YouTube, that you need to create two variations. They just tell you to create a post and get that out there to Instagram and Facebook, which is completely idiotic if you ask me. All right, so now we jump into the fun part, and this is basically understanding your position in all of this, and this is tier one. This is basically where the stage where people get stuck and give up, aka the losers. Something that a lot of people need to understand is that you will most likely not really be profitable when you start beginning Facebook ads. It's really hard to do that, and it's basically just up to luck. What you're doing is you're building data, and you're buying data, as much data as you can for the cheapest amount possible. So in the tier one, this is basically where you start understanding your audience. This is where you're testing your product creatives and starting your retargeting. So if you don't understand what I mean by retargeting or testing your product creatives, you'll understand all of this in my next video, which is where I'll be going through tier one and what we do in tier one. But you need to understand all of these tiers before you jump into those videos. That's why I'm starting out. So tier one is where you're testing your product creatives and you're, you're starting your retargeting basically. You're building your data and starting to break down your ads so you can start understanding way more of where your audience is coming from. So that will be like uh, if they're coming from Instagram or Facebook, if they're mobile or desktop or basically if the audience, if the interest you're targeting is doing good or not. You should really be starting out with three ad creatives, no less, no more, because you need to be testing uh, different colors, emojis, and text. You might have seen that some pages actually just feature three of the same video and the only thing that they're testing is the bar color above where the text is coming from. Just like the one you're seeing above right now, uh, they test basically green color is converting more or if the, the green text is converting more with a, with a white background or something like that. It's very important that you start testing three different creatives and no less but Preferably more as well because you want to know which one is doing the best in the future for lookalike audiences and your new ads basically. And here's a mistake a lot of other mentors tell you and that is to start optimizing for purchase right away and that is completely stupid because you have no data whatsoever on purchase and you will be having the most data on view content first of all and then you'll be having most data on add to cart and then initiate checkout and then purchase. Then you want to jump in that order specifically because Facebook will be knowing how to optimize for the right audience for you the more data you have on on certain conversion events it's very important that you understand this that you should never really start optimizing for purchase immediately because that will just screw up the whole process and you'll just start losing money and you'll be frustrated and give up this is why a lot of people give up on this stage because people tell them to start optimizing for purchase before anything else and that is so stupid i don't agree with that but just, of course it will work for some people it have worked for me before but it's not really optimized and i will i assure you that once you finish this course you will understand why this is the superior way now here's a little bit of a truth you are buying data and you will most likely not be profitable in the beginning that is just how it is and i'm gonna be frank with you if you don't have a lot of money stick with instagram influencers 
and don't jump into Facebook ads because you will just be disappointed and you will learn a very hard lesson that you won't be profitable in the beginning, most likely. All right, so let's jump into tier two. This is where you start getting a little bit better and you start getting a lot of more data and you're starting to understand what your audience is. And if you're basically going to target people over 35, if it's men or women, if, uh, if it's only Instagram ads you should be focusing on or just Facebook feeds, basically. Uh, so here you can start narrowing down one to three interests. So that might be that you you're targeting cars So you want to target people who also who like Ford and BMW and they are also an engaged shop to so narrow that down three times to get a more hyper focused audience i know this might be a little bit confusing if you have no clue what facebook ads really is i recommend you to check some other videos but i also recommend you to subscribe to my channel right now because i will be going through everything that you need to know in the future and I'm, i'll be releasing a new video every two or three days or something like that and this will be a very valuable course that i will be putting out on youtube completely free so tier two is also where you get you start getting to know what ad creatives are working for you so basically you saw that that ad creative which with a green text instead of a white text worked better for you then you can start changing up the variables a little bit and start putting out a new ad creative that that is testing something else against your winning ad creative so you start from your winning ad creative and saw what worked in that change one variable so you can get even more hyper targeted ad creatives that are working for you now this is quite hard to understand but i will be showing you everything like this in the next coming videos as well but stick with me because you want to know all of this before you start those videos this is also where you start getting a positive return on ad spend, also known as ROAS, which is very fun because a positive ROAS is always good to have when you start ads and people just give up a lot earlier than they should. On the They usually give up on tier one because they saw that their ads did not work. This is also where you start duplicating ad sets and your budgets. So you want to duplicate the winning ads, which have got maybe like 10 to 20 sales. Maybe that is pretty unlikely for you. Don't, don't fret it because you'll be seeing which ads are winning and which aren't. So you want to turn off the ads, which aren't really giving you a positive return on ad spend. If you spend way more than your break even point, if you spend more than the product costs and what you're selling it for, just kill that ad set because you won't want to leave that on and you can basically move on to the next interest that you want to try. So in tier two, you also want to start your lookalike audiences for view content and add to cart. So most likely you haven't really gotten enough purchases or initiate checkouts to start a lookalike audience for the country that you got most visits from but view content and add to cart are also very good and you can also create a custom lookalike audience for the top 25 percent people who spend time on your website very good to keep in mind and i re really recommend you writing all of this down or just coming back to the video to watch it all right so understanding your position in tier three and this is where i start seeing a lot of good results and mostly the bad results have stopped happening because you've gotten so much information on your ad creatives and you know which ad creative is working and you know what audience you want to target and you know what platform you want to target as well and this is where a lot of the fun starts to happen and this is where you start seeing some matured campaigns so you basically got 50 sales facebook can start optimizing for your campaign and hyper target people who will most likely convert for you and your product and this is a very fun stage because you start seeing a crazy good roas and which is return on ad spend so your pixel is warmed up with great data as well and your your data is really getting stacked and facebook can start seeing that you have a lot of purchases for example facebook will be able to optimize way better for that event so you'll be moving in a certain order which i'll be going through in the next video on how you set up your ads here is also where you're mostly profitable on all your campaigns and you don't really have to stay inconsistent anymore because you have so much data to work from and this will basically be where you'll be snowballing to the next stage. Here is also good where you can go back to tier one and start using the data that you accumulated over the next on the tiers and start using that data to start a new product because Facebook will basically be knowing which type of audience they want to reach out to so they most likely convert. This will be way easier for you and starting new products will really be a breeze in this stage because you have so much data to work from. So this is where you're, you want to set up a fully lookalike audience 
CBO campaign. If you don't really know what that is, and I understand if you don't, I will be going through that in the tier three video. And that is why you should definitely subscribe because this is, is a really a fun time for you and anyone else who is working with you on the stage because CBO campaigns are really the next thing. And you can search a lot on CBO campaigns right now, but if you don't know what it is, don't worry, you don't really need to know about it right now. Stick to tier one and work your way out. All right, so the next part is your tier four and that is the last tier and the most fun and automated tier of them all. You're mostly running lookalike and retargeting ads. You don't really need to find new interests to work from. It's very good to do that, but once you are in tier four on one product, you mostly wanna start a new campaign for a new product and start from tier one on that side because your lookalike audience campaign for that product and your retargeting for that product is probably on point by in tier four and you won't have any troubles making a lot of money so this is basically where you're making at least like 500 to five thousand dollars each day and this is where you also can start relaxing more you don't have to micromanage your campaigns you can start working on new products and your ads are basically automatically optimized by Facebook because they have so much data on which is the best audience and will most likely convert for you at at this stage you're also very confident in your Facebook ad skills and in the tier 4 stage you're mostly an expert on Facebook ads and won't be needing any more consul consultation or really any more videos because you can just follow this process the whole time so this is why I go through this because in understanding the t four tiers is something that you need to know before you start your Facebook ads and you can just go back to all of these tiers each time and then you'll know what to do. I'll be referring to these tiers in my next coming videos, so keep that in mind. So anyway, I know this video has been a little bit messy if you're really a beginner, but I hope you enjoyed it as Facebook ads is really fun to do and once you get a hang of it, it's really powerful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and take this chance and subscribe for the next video because it's really going to be worth your while. Completely unreasonable amounts of people are paying for this kind of information and I'll be going through the whole process to making you an expert. So if you're having trouble with Facebook ads, Snapchat ad, Google ads, conversion rate or any dropshipping questions in general, you can book a consultation call with the link in the description below. All right, everyone, this has been David Stone, and I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you're interested in a free consultation call, just comment the success crew in the comments below, and I'll be picking out a winner to the next video. You'll be receiving a 10 minute call with me, and you can ask me anything, and I'll also provide you a great product you can start using today. To get this free consultation call, you need to subscribe and comment and like the video. I'll be checking that as well, so keep that in mind. If you want to book a consultation call with me, you can do that with the link in the description below. All right, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe. It really puts a smile on my face and have a great day.